Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Welcome to Monday. Guys, I, I have a request, if I may make a request. Um, a lot of you guys have shops. Garages, places that you work. Um, some of you guys work on stuff professionally. Some of you guys are hobbyists. Um, but if you work on stuff, you know what situations function. You know what situations work for you. And you know what situations do not work for you. What I would like to request is, and as I'm scanning around my own situation here, what I'd like to request from you guys is um, a video, a photo, a description of what works for you in your, your shop, in your work area. I mean, maybe in your basement where you work on model trains. What has worked well for you? What setup is like, wow, ever since I've done that, I've been kicking butt. You know, it's worked for me. And what has not worked for you? I mean, every once in a while, you'll do something, and it's, it's like, boy, I thought that was a great idea, but man, what a screw-up. Right? I'm interested in both. Um, you can tell me more than one if you got a if you got a channel or a video or description of many screw ups, right? You, you know, sometimes sometimes it takes a few tries to get things right. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you're progressing toward the direction of correct. I mean, for me, I've already described that screw-up there where I was using that cutoff saw and I almost set myself ablaze. I ended up with a smoldering mess and I have a propane tank right next to it. How's that for being genius? Or the fact that every time I want to use that, i got to move all this stuff out of the way. Or the fact that I hung the grinders up there, which is a wonderful thing, but to get to the grinders, I have all this stuff in front of them. First a golf cart, then that stuff, and then to get to the grinders, right? I might as well put the grinders up in the attic behind that little trap door for as much um, as, as that's been troublesome. Something that's actually been working well for me, right? I have my electricity right here. I got my grinder right here. The eyeglass is right there. I'm always and forever using a four inch grinder. Always, always, always. So having the grinder here, my goggles here, I could pick up a piece of metal, fire the sparks right out the door, not onto the propane tanks, not a great place for them to be. So that, that has worked for me. So there are certain things that have worked fairly well for me. Having this shed here was working beautifully until I overloaded it and you can see the doors being buckled outward but the saw on the inside needs to find a different home and that being the case this this shed really works out fairly well for me um once again my screw up is going taking it to overload and then one, once you get it to the overload position now it's it's difficult but like i i put the saw here to get it out of the winter but theoretically, if I line up what's important around the edges, particularly such that I could reach right in and get it there and here, right? I mean, this will be really, really handy. Having the oil all the way over there is not a great thing because I find myself having to climb there whenever I want it. But, yeah, this uh, this has basically worked out fairly, fairly well for me. Um, uh, this This mess here not but the rest of it has um yeah i'm 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 really interested in your your suggestions um things that could be a lot better for me obviously having a couple of trays of you know these are all those nuts and bolts i went through sorting be great to have the screws underneath there um these these have worked fairly well except the fact that a lot of them became assorted this is going to drive me crazy until I just close and lock it so let me just do that right if not you guys will get to 
See me have some kind of meltdown or something. Right? That's never a pretty sight. My wife's getting her piano tuned. That's where um, the tuner plays the same note over and over again. And uh, that that there's weird things that that put people on the edge. That's one of those things that gradually I feel it moving me toward the edge. Uh, then that door squeaking and squeaking and slamming and squeaking. You know that little things like that. I guess uh, I, I guess drive me a little a little nuts. One just has to be aware of that and you know be a little bit more careful I guess um anyhow enough enough about me um yeah if you guys if you guys could take a few minutes and think about your situation at home at work you might not be able to shoot videos but you could definitely tell me about it uh other things that have worked well I've moved um this this was elsewhere and it came into the garage here because it should be going up in the attic with I have a, a horde of these these metal brackets and all up in the attic. These things, by the way, come in real handy. You say, "Oh, yeah, but I don't do construction." That that may be completely true, but it doesn't mean that you can't cut them up to do various things for all-terrain vehicles. So um, that really needs to join the rest of of the horde of that kind of stuff. Uh, Musty One just gave me a good suggestion. He mentioned that uh, he just leaves the keys in everything that's not running except his cars, which is obviously smarter than I am because after he mentioned that, I thought to myself, how many keys have I lost because I've left them in the ignition? And myself responded to the question, zero. How many keys have I lost because I put them someplace safe? And the answer is, that happens a lot and you spend a lot of time looking for keys. So, conclusion, right? Stop putting keys where someplace safe is and keep the keys in the darn ignitions where they belong. My buddy um, Chuck, when I got this from him, he's given me a few sets of keys for this. I, I think I might he might have given me three keys all told. And I think the only key I still have is the one that I left in the ignition on it. So I'm going to take Musty One's suggestion and just leave the keys in the darn ignitions. Right? Like that. Um, right? It just it just makes makes life so much easier. I, I have that thing outside, so I put the keys over here. Right? I'll be able to see and find them. All right, uh, yeah, if I can make that request for you, from you guys, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys do really clever things, and, and I'd like to learn from you. Um, some of you guys do things like I do that perhaps are not clever or perhaps are not as good as they could be. You know what? It doesn't hurt to learn from each other about that kind of stuff either, right? Um, if we could do better, let's do better. Let's do better, right? There's no reason to continuously do things stupid. Um, a lot of the, the stuff, the saws and the welders and stuff on that top shelf there, uh, I'd give that a C- minus to working out. It just It just seems that when it's heavy and you got to bring it down, that's difficult. And uh, and I have a tendency to knock these clamps off and that wire off. So uh, this is not the greatest. That's not the greatest thing, folks. It's supposed to have some nice weather over the next few days. I'm hoping to keep keep moving things forward um, with that good weather. Um, I'm hoping to have a revelation where the key is for this guy. Um, as a matter of fact, that's why I'm leaving it sit right here. I'm hoping that I'll walk by it and I'll say, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I did with the key. Um, if I were a betting man, 
the key is not where it was supposed to be. And what, what happened is I took the key out of the ignition, I put it down somewhere where it wasn't supposed to be, and, it, you, you know, I saw it there, didn't remember what it was for, and I put it someplace, quote, safe, unquote. And someplace, quote, safe, unquote, could be in the bottom of that tray right there, right? Oh, look, an unknown key. Well, let me put it in this tray so it doesn't get lost. Um... Generally speaking, though, I found keys that I haven't seen in over 20 years. I found the keys to that guy. Um, this this bike here, right? It was um, it was one of three. Yeah, this bike here was one of three, um, and the key switch was screwed up on the other two, right? And I found all three keys for these because keys are kind of important and I have a tendency to put them someplace safe. So um, someplace safe is I have a general collection area for keys and I, I typically loop things on, loop them on there and, and get them where they belong. Just looking over there to see if, uh, yeah, the only the only one with a decent ignition was that one, as I recalled. Um, anyway, I have a tendency to to you know get the keys uh, when I see a key that I don't know what it is. I I normally put it with my collection of keys, and for whatever reason, that one key just didn't join the join the batch. So I don't know. Sucks getting old and senile, I guess. All right, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Please send me some of, some of your suggestions and some of your screw-ups. We all do both, so let's have some fun. Let's enjoy it. Let's learn something from each other. Take care, folks.